marketed as a socially conscious show promoting progressive values. Well, let me show you exactly what these supposed progressive values are all about. Please put these little kids in cuffs, y'all. Audience, no photos, please. Why are you in riot gear? We don't see no riot here. Come on, y'all. Here come Wizard Kelly and his goons. Pity, stand your ground. Why are you in riot gear? We don't see no riot here. Why are you in riot here? Do Now you see exactly what the concern is. What kind of ideas and agenda are we promoting children? That police officers and departments are just violent groups violently oppressing black people? Is that really the idea that we want to be promoting here? Not only is that factually inaccurate, but it's dangerous and destructive. Essentially promoting to young children, to young black children who are watching the Disney Channel, that police departments are their enemies and that they're after them. But that honestly isn't even the worst part. That final little moment there where one of the parents points at the white man and says, stop them, use your white privilege. Again, what ideas are we promoting to children? That white people have this unique superpower where they could, at their whim, control police officers and departments by using their white privilege? Are we seriously teaching young white children that just purely based on the color of their skin they have the ability to command police departments and police squads? How absolutely flat on its face ridiculous. You know, I'm all for free speech. You can personally hold whatever idea you want. You can live in your world of make-believe where you believe that white people have this white privilege superpower where they could just avoid culpability, avoid consequence for all of their actions like their freaking Hunter Biden. You can believe that personally and honestly with your own children in your own home, you can promote whatever ideology you want. But it becomes a problem when you have these woke corporations attempting to indoctrinate young developing children in the ways of wokeness. And it's always the same thing, promoting anti-white propaganda. It's a toxic political agenda meant to target white children and to make them feel as if they're somehow inherently guilty because of the color of their skin. This isn't just generic kids content. It's friggin' woke MK Ultra trying to craft this next generation of leftist activists. I mean, take a look at this. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. Tilled this land from sea to sea to sea. First there was rice, tobacco, sugar cane. Then Whitney did his thing and cotton became king. And we were its soldiers. Four million strong. Fighting for America's freedoms, even though we remained America's slaves. slaves. Built this country. The descendants of slaves continue to build this. Slaves, slaves built this country. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering. And continue to earn reparations every moment we spend submerged in the system. Systemic prejudice, racism, and white, white supremacy, supremacy that America was founded with and still has not atoned for. Slaves built this country. Not only field hands, but carpenters, masons, blacksmiths, musicians, inventors built cities from Jamestown to New Orleans to Banneker, Washington. Washington. 40 acres and a mule. We'll take the 40 acres, keep the mule. We, we made, made your, your families rich. rich. From the southern plantation heirs to the northern bankers to the New England ship owners, the founding fathers, former presidents, current senators, the Illuminati, the New New World Order. Slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. We had Tubman, Turner, Frederick D. Then they say Lincoln freed the slaves. But slaves were men. And, and women. And only we can free ourselves. Emancipation, Emancipation is not freedom. freedom. Jim Crow, segregation, redlining, public schools, feeding private prisons, where we become slaves again. As we celebrate Juneteenth for, for the umpteenth time, time, our account is still outstanding. Because this country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. country. And we demand our 40 acres and a mule. Not bad. You can keep the mule. Keep the 40. We're taking 